Hello, family. It's Ariana, your tarot life coach, bringing you your June tarot scopes, big baby. I just wanted to tell you guys before I get started, big hugs, guys. Thank you so very much. I received an email that I was like number seven out of the top 15 life coaches on YouTube. So I'm going to add that link in my um, description box and you guys can check it out. So thank you guys. I really, really appreciate it. And it was such an honor. Now, let's talk about what's going on in June. Um, I know these are going to be in through like sections. I may be four to time, three to time, depending how much I can get done. I had a lot of orders last month, and so I tried to get all of those out before I started the monthlies this month. So hopefully everybody's received their video by now. If not, shoot me an email. <laughs> all right. On June 13th, we have a new moon in Gemini. And Venus is also entering into Leo. Rawr. We're going to have like a little bit of man eater going on over here. Now, on June 18th, Neptune goes retrograde into the sign of Pisces. It's going to form a grand trine with Mercury and Jupiter. This is a wonderful time for spiritual development, a great time to get things together for yourself. And this, this goes all the way until the 24th of November. So lots of personal growth, lots of spiritual enlightenment, okay? June 26th, Mars goes retrograde. Capricorn Aquarius, Capricorn can't make up his mind. High energy, lots of distractions, lots of friction, guys, lots of friction. We might hear stuff about government coming out. There might be like some leakages. So just be prepared and also know that when that energy happens as a collective, it may happen in your personal life too. So being aware that maybe not to take everything so personally. And then on uh, June 28th, we have the full moon in Capricorn. So, and then we're already in July. And then I get to be on vacation. Ah! <laughs> So with that being said, let's get a channeled message for our collective. We're going to be using messages from the spirit guides. So for the month of June, for all that's watching, what kind of energy can we harness? Ooh, ooh. It's saying the cat, big baby. So this is going to be, a maybe it's because of that um, Mars retrograde. This is going to be a month where we really start looking at why we're dependent on others, who we're dependent on, why we're choosing the people that we want to be with. It's just going to be a little bit more finicky. So it says to strike out on your own and stop being over dependent. So you're going to have to be a little picky like the kitty cat, okay? Because I know some cats won't just let anybody pet them. But the thing about a cat, it's like, I think we're releasing our codependent relationships with people, places, and things, and we're going to start looking at ourselves as a whole. So like I said, on the 18th, Neptune does go retrograde, a lot of spiritual enlightenment, a lot of things coming in. Make sure you take your cat naps, make sure you're resting, make sure you're taking care of yourself. The cat always takes care of themselves, okay? So with that being said, stay tuned because we got some videos for you. And once again, fam, thank you, thank you, thank you, and be blessed. Hello, Sagittarius! Hey! Big, big hugs, lots and lots of love, high fives, and some damn dirty shoulder rubs. I hope you Saggies are doing superbly, superbly good. Big, big hugs, guys. So good to be back with you. I hope to have this out tonight. It is June 4th. I hope you get it, baby, and I hope it hits home. Because when these cards came out, I don't really understand what's going on, but I'm sure it'll come together by the end of it. <laughs> so, with that being said, if you're new to my channel, bienvenidos a mi canal. I hope that you hit that like, that share, that subscribe, and maybe even become a part of this family. All right, leave some comments. Let me know what you guys think. Um, also, I love emails, okay, and updates. I love those kinds of things. Um, also, check me out on Instagram at Ariana Luciano. All right, family. This is for Saggies. All right. Sun, moon, and rising. Okay. Now, all I'm going to say, Saggie, is your channel message is to ancestors. <sighs> Deep breath, Saggie. This is going to be one of those months. One of those months that you're dealing with something completely off the chain. You may need some huge guidance and your guides, your spirit guides, your ancestors, however you want to look at it, are coming through for you. The first one coming through is the ancestor of knowing, which is, um, you know, attributed to the owl totem. We got the owl with these big, big eyes, okay? And that's the better to see you with. And what's so interesting is, it just kind of hit me, like, you see the, those little things in the back? It almost looks like wings, right? Right? 
Well, your your um to your power animal. I can't talk. Your power animal is the bee. It kind of looks like a big bee in a way. Okay, so let's really pay attention to what's going on around you because the ancestor of knowing is telling you there's some things in your life gotta go. Transformation is key. We're shedding. It's the announcer of death. The owl comes in. Things are about to change. We're about to grow. However. There is also some secrets being withheld from you. But you got this, boo-boo. You have the ancestor of knowing coming in and telling you exactly what you need to know, okay? Now, the ancestor of hope. It's like, I feel like you got air guidance. Like you're seeing things from a higher perspective. You're seeing things through the darkness. You have more than a 180 view of everything. You're changing your mind completely, okay? Because the owl can almost turn 360 degrees, almost, okay? So you're able to see things from all angles. You're getting all kinds of information. But then the ancestor, a whole balam, 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 his way all the way in. And it's there to save the day because the horse is coming in with hope. It is time for freedom. It is time to break free. It is time to move forward. No more sitting around waiting for things to change. You are going to change them. You are releasing the past. You are moving forward. And this is freedom. Freedom at all kinds of levels. Freedom to get to the next level. Like I hear that video game, like, you know, do, 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 do. Y'all remember on Super Mario? And then you would like get the mushroom, be like, wah, 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 wah. I feel like you're eating the mushroom and you're gonna grow, okay? However, none of that is easy and that's why your ancestors are right next to you, okay? So let's move that sad and let's talk about your power animal or power insect. You got the same one as Leo which is interesting because we have this sun right by it. And I've been saying this like on almost every video, solar plexus energy this month, guys. Confidence is key. Bellies, we've got to start paying attention to what we're putting in, all of that good stuff because we have got to work with that energy. Now, this bee is sticking around here. When I saw what the bee was doing, the bee is being very productive, right? He's taking the nectar from the flower. We got the empress right next to her. So I have like a basic description of what these, these cards mean, right? The bee, what it symbolizes, all these kinds of stuff. Royalty, it's attributed to um, different deities, that kind of stuff. But none of that is hitting me right now. What's kind of hitting me is that this flower is right by the sun, by this empress who's creating and she has like this eagle, right? And then there's this mala, it's about mantras and then transformation happens. So what I'm gonna tell you is a story. You are lost in illusion, you are confused, you don't know what's going on, you wanna believe what you're hearing, but it's like you're going to get the information yourself and then the lights come on and then you transform. So that's kind of like what this month is gonna be like for you. Now, the B is also significant to compassion, to forgiveness, um, letting that be the top priority, whether it's forgiving someone else or forgiving yourself. Now, if right now, as I'm talking about forgiveness, somebody comes into your mind, <laughs> that's the person you need to forgive, okay? <sighs> it's really easy to say, I forgive you. It's really hard to mean it, all right? It, it is not a very easy task, all right? And I'm not telling you, you have to forgive everybody and you, you should, okay? But it's a process. It's not like, okay, I forgive you, it's all great. Let me remove that knife from my back and let you stick it back in. No, forgiveness is not carrying that hate with you anymore, but knowing what you're working with, all right? Now this is productivity, this is compassion, this is love, this is mother goddess, this is royalty. Okay, also if a bee lands on your hand, and I think it means like money and wealth is coming, all right? Think about jelly, think about honey. I don't think, I don't know why I said jelly. Think about honey, think about how rich it is, okay? Now, mentally you have illusion coming in. So you are in a labyrinth of lies. <laughs> and it's a lies from the past. The number six is going to be really prominent for you this month. You have a six with illusion and six with transformation. Six to me is like childhood, the past, 
being nostalgic, being stuck in the past, things that bring you pleasure, all of that good stuff. And I'm getting a lot of sacral energy towards your soul. Like it's like going to be a breakthrough where you're going to find your pleasure, you're going to be creative, that kind of stuff. But right now we're all up in our head. But you need more information before you proceed. Do not let what, what's in front of you deceive you, okay? Now, stay alert. You need to smoke and mirrors, my friend. This is the magician card personified. Now, the distractions are everywhere right now. Reassess your direction to uncover your true path. So, if you kind of look at this card, this guy's like walking up all these things. He's like, oh my God, I can't get out of here. And I always think about the movie The Labyrinth every time I see this card. It's time for you to realize that you're stuck in a situation that you shouldn't really be stuck in. Mm-hmm. Whether it's work rise, whether it's just in your head, or whether you're just not seeing the other opportunities that you could work with. Whew. Physically, we have from the Egyptian tarot, the Empress right here. Card number three, okay? The number for this is three. The letter is G. 3G, baby. <laughs> anyway, she represents creativity, the power, the source. The sun is right behind her. The moon is at her feet. So it's almost like, hey, shine bright like a diamond, but keep yourself, you know, keep those emotions there, you know? The, it's like you're dominating your emotions because the moon is at your feet, okay? It says, remember to affirm what is true and what is just is already to create. To affirm what the contrary means is to vote oneself to destruction. You need to talk about the good things in life. What are you being productive for? Who's the queen in your life? Are you the queen? Are you a part of the team? Are you supporting the queen? What does the queen represent? Okay, queen bee, worker bee, that kind of stuff. Are you being productive? Now, this is like a very positive omen physically for you. I feel like you are really moving into place. This is authority, okay? So either you're working with someone in authority or you're in authority and you're, you're, it's an illusion that you're not working hard enough for somebody, okay? Maybe you're not working hard enough for yourself. But it's just an illusion. It's in, all in your head, okay? Now, this is also abundance and complete success. So I wanted to get more information, and I used the Seeds of Shakti. And I don't, at first when this Mala card came out, I was like, what the hey? What is, or like my, my little two-year-old says, what the heck? She's so cute. Anyways, I was like, all her little sayings like stay in my head. This Mala is about affirmations, prayers, intentions, inner peace, and manifestation. And being that right by the Empress, being that right by the bee, the productive bee, whatever you put into action is going to flourish. You have got to back it up, mind, body, soul. There has to be a connection. The part that's not connecting for you right now is the mind. The mind is playing tricks on you. Okay, because physically you're doing what you've got to do. She's creating the transformation and she's getting um, reassurance through mantras, through prayers, through affirmations. And affirmations work, guys. They really do. I listen to these uh, affirmations by Rockstar. <laughs> and it's like every day I bring new clients. I'm like, do I? Yes, I do. And then like even when I'm not listening to it. I still hear it in my head and it's an affirmation every day I make great decisions and you know every, you know yes I'm great everybody loves me I know it's I mean, there's some out there that don't but I like to believe for the most part they do because I'm a pretty good person right so affirmations are gonna help you lead to this wonderful transformation that goes from a dark six to a bright six to this transformation to this caterpillar experience to the rising Phoenix and how much better and how much stronger can that be for you the number 33 comes to a six, okay? Emotional freedom brings growth and positive change. The phoenix is just like the caterpillar, transforms into new life after experiencing the end of a cycle. Something's ending, but something's got to begin. So this is rebirth. This is rejuvenation. So even within negative experiences, physical trauma, emotional suffering, you've just reached that point where you're like, okay, this is the make it or break it phase. And I choose not to carry this baggage with me. I'm going to release this and I'm going to fly high. I'm going to emerge with confidence and no more emotional imbalance. The depression is gone. The, the, the melancholy is gone. No, I've said that all wrong. But um, you're ready for something new. If you're in a relationship, the phoenix represents strong change, encouraging you to look at yourself for self-confidence and independence. 
If you're not, this is the formation of a new one coming in for you where you're going to be yourself and actually be who you are, okay? And then it goes into the energy of the phoenix request that we assess our daily rituals and habits. Are they serving you? Do we need to cut them or release them? So are you doing prayers? Are you doing your mantras? Are you doing affirmations? And if you're not, you need to. And if you're doing them and they're not working, you need to change them. That's okay. See, now it's tied together because at first I said, I don't know what the hell is going on with Saggy. I don't know because it's my moon. I'm trying to figure it out. So yes, you are productive. Yes, good things are coming, but you got to keep reminding yourself of that so that the transformation can change and you get out of your damn head, Sagittarius. Okay? So let's jump into the title. Okay. Saints of Double Essence Cards. Show the energy that you have for Sagittarius. Roll the two. Wrong cards. <laughs> Grab the oracle cards. I'm about to start reading with oracle cards. Let's cut the deck. Ooh, three is your number. Six is your number. I'm telling you because I have a 33. It's six again. Okay, three with the empress and the three of arrows. So the empress has a message for you. Some of y'all are fertile as F, okay? I'll get out. You need to get on the pill or something. If you ain't trying to have a baby, wrap it up, okay? The pull-out method don't work. I got two kids from that method. Um, <laughs> you're fertile, but you're also fertile in ideas, fertile in ventures. Stop letting the illusion trick you. The three of arrows reversed. Stop. Like, I feel like you get a great idea and you're like, nah, that's not going to work. Or you have a breakthrough and you're like, no, it's not going to last. It's almost like you like kind of shoot yourself in the foot there. Like things are getting good and then you like want to talk bad about yourself. There was the first card that fell out. And it's you, Saggy. Looking all hot and tempting and the rest just fall out. Let's see what we got here. Let me move these out the way. These fell sideways. Let me, oh, let me see. Should she be upright? That's you. That's you in the past. Controlling. Controlling everything. Yeah. Upright. Upright. Okay. When they fall sideways, I just like to make sure, okay? And we got one more car. Who's it gonna be? Mm -hmm. Wait, this should it be upright? Let me make sure, because it fell sideways. Upright? No. Okay. <sighs> okay, Saggies, what we got going on here? So, we have the Queen of Wands in the past. This is either you or you're dealing with another fire sign, all right? Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. This is like the boss woman if you're attributing this to work. Every time I, I do a read, I like for you to kind of think about what you want to know. If it's a work situation, tie the information to work. If it doesn't fit, don't wear it, okay? If this is about a relationship, I really think this is about um, more of partnerships and relationships because it's going to the number six. And I also feel like this is about things that have been going on for a very long time and you're tired of fighting. The overall energy is the eight of cups reversed. <sighs> You're tired of fighting with somebody and you're ready to go back to whatever it was, whether it was being alone or going back to whatever it was. The queen of wands is you or someone you're dealing with, all in their element, looking at the situation. I feel like almost like you saw the shit, you saw the lies, you regret it, you made the right decision and you're done fighting for this, okay? Possibly a water sign, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, because you're about to run away from them. Or that Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces is trying to come back to you. Now, Saggy. You're looking at these lies and you're like, really? Is this what you're going to do? Come on. And we may be dealing with a Gemini, okay? Gemini might be trying to pull the wool over our eyes. However, this seven of arrows is like, are you going to blindly follow this situation, queen? Are you? Or are you going to regret this? because it's gonna lead to like a whole bunch of bull if you do, okay? So let's clarify what the queen wants you to know. Let's see if it's this deck, yeah. So we're gonna go with the wisdom of the oracle. What do they need to know, y'all? I don't even know if y'all saw those cards fly out. Say number one. It's another three, should it be reversed? No. Okay, <laughs> so you saw the shit show going down, Saggy. You know something's going on. There's a change in the wind. If this is a relationship, it's going to pass, okay? It might be because the Ten of Cups is looking right at me, um, and it's reversed. It's going to pass. You need to hold on tight. You need to trust because you're on top of the back of the zebra. You need to trust your foundation. You need to stand where you are, and do not follow all the gossip. Do not, do not follow the bullshit is what I really want to tell you because those two people are just running blindly. 
I feel like they want to tattletale, which I don't know why. I'm not like usually this kind of a reader, but I feel like they just want to bring you gossip. Hey, did you know such and such? Did you hear about such and such? Oh my gosh. And you're like, are you serious? So anyways, the storm is going to pass, okay? The storm is going to pass at work and it's going to pass at home. It's just a matter of having faith. There is a lot of threes involved in you, okay? So you may have a third party or a third party offer for work. It's just it's just really odd energy. It's going to pass. The seven of arrows is just telling you sneaky, sneaky, okay? I almost feel like telling you secret, secrets, they're no fun. They can even hurt someone, okay? Because that's what's, that's what's coming through. Let's see what energy to work with here. Ha! Meerkat, yeah, basically. Get support from trusted, trusted group of like-minded people, okay? That's the thing. Those two people trying to feed you the bull, and you see the way Meerkat is standing? Like, hell no. And you remember the owl had those weird eyes, too? Meerkat has those weird eyes, too. Almost like you need to see things clearer, okay? More clearly. And Meerkat is about finding out why you trust the people you trust. Does this person fit that description? Why are you wasting your time if they don't? Because the hidden influence is defeat. It's almost like you got away with it or they got away with it and you're going to catch them, all right? Like you're like, nah, bro. Really? After all that I've done, after all that I did for you to get this job, after all I did to come back to you, this is how you repay me? Because the five of arrows, this is where Anzu steals the tablet of life, right? And then he's like, oh, I got this, I got this. And then Nunatura was like, oh, hell no. And he, he didn't kill him the first time. But damn, Skippy, he got him the second time. All right? So they might have got away with it the first time. They're not getting away with it this time. Not at all. I'm sorry, Sagi, this might be a long read. Why, why, why? I almost feel like that's what you're gonna be asking yourself, why? And I'm not even gonna go with the meaning of this card. I'm gonna tell you, it's like simply, it's gonna be like reading a book. You're gonna be like, I saw all the signs, I saw everything there, and I didn't believe it. I didn't see it coming. What was I thinking? You know, and it's almost like you don't even, you can't even really answer it yourself. It's just like it came out of freaking nowhere. It didn't because all the signs were there, okay? All the signs were there. Um, it's like you denied the truth when you saw it, okay? Uh, it's also like our partner isn't trying to like really, it's, you don't even know why you're with them anymore. You're just like, what the hell am I doing? So the advice is the lovers. The advice is making a decision, right? Making the right decision. But you kind of see how she's like clothed and all that beautiful yellow. I just love how she's dripping in solar plexus energy, you know? She's got that peacock under her feet and a peacock represents an animal who can eat poisonous berries, poisonous plants and will not die, okay? So you have been fed poison, my friend, but you're not gonna die. You're gonna be all right. Have y'all seen that meme where it's that guy who's like, oh, you, you did that, but you're not dead yet, right? Like, so you'll be all right. <laughs> and it's almost like this, and it's, this is a Capricorn God offering the high priestess his cup of love. Someone is giving you an offer. I'm gonna tell you, take your time in that decision and find out why you would wanna take it, okay? So today I had a little interview and something inside of me was telling me, no, 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 don't go, don't go. And I told the person, you know, I really decide where I'm, I'm gonna stay where I'm at, I'm good, you know, blah, blah, blah. No, 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 I think you should come on in an interview. No, 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 no. And I wouldn't take no for an answer. And I kind of feel like I was turning the cup down, but they wouldn't allow me because it wasn't worth fighting for. So somebody's offering you an opportunity. They're giving you a chance to do something different, but it's like you almost don't want to take it. So that the, the answer to this is to not accept it. Okay, don't accept what they're giving if it's not worth the fight and you don't even understand why they're doing it. The thing is, is the truth is being withheld because you see how the book has the wings? It's flying away from you. And then you have the seven of arrows, which is all hidden agenda. Hidden, hidden, hidden. All right. So let's see if the lovers can give us guidance. Where is it coming from? Okay. Sacred power deck. Ha. Ah compassion okay so she is sitting on top this is Quan Yin this is one of the deities she is also attributed to the number 333 some of y'all may be getting visitations some of y'all may be getting angelic messages some of you may be finding feathers because of the book that has the feathers however this is Quan Yi she is the bringer Quan Yin 
She is the bringer of life. Some of y'all may be getting a wonderful idea. I did talk about fertility. Some may be finding out you're pregnant, so congratulations. Compassion is the number nine here. So I have two nines now in your read. So some of y'all may find yourselves packing your bags at the end of the month. You may be packing up your office or you might be packing up your heart and taking it somewhere else. Okay. This is divine understanding, which creates new life. This is growth, giving support in times of trauma. So traumas came up two or three times now for you. These are issues that need to heal from the past because it's attributed to the number six. But right now, Kuan Yin wants to help. It's removing karmic obstacles, emotional imbalances, okay? But having an open heart is essential for you to receive. Removing expectations is also going to be important. And removing yourself those limits. There is no limits. There's no, oh, I can't do that. Remember I told you it's like almost like the illusion? It's that illusion. You're being offered pearls of wisdom. In one hand, she has the pearl, which is like shining bright, which was made out of sand. In the other hand, she has the lotus flower. The lotus flower grows out of the crappiest water. Out of the shittiest of situations that you're experiencing, you will come out flourishing. Trust me, okay? Now, the Nine of Wands is the possible outcome. This Nine of Wands is coming through, and it's basically telling you, get out of your head, stop fighting this fight, it's not worth it. It's almost asking you, why are you fighting? Why? Why are you doing this? What's the point in all of this? So let's see what can help. You have tortoise energy. It's time to protect yourself. You're all over the place, Saji. You sit your ass down for a minute. <laughs> and you need to get grounded. You need to get your feet on the ground. You need to get your head in the game. And you might need to retreat into that beautiful shell of yours and get yourself together. I, I swear, you're packing up and moving on. Because it's like he's like he's got his home on his back and home is where the heart is, okay? You see this home over here? The Queen of Wands knows that's her house. I feel like you might be kicking someone out your house. You might be changing houses or you're taking somebody out the house house, which is your body, all right? You're telling them um, that locks have been changed. Now, the Eight of Cups reverse is like, this is like the energy of just wanting to go back to the good old days, wanting to go back to the way things used to be. See, from the Eight of Cups, you're returning to the Seven of Cups, and the Seven of Cups is like the player card. You had all these options, all these good things coming at you. Then you picked the wrong cup, right? So now you want to go back and you want to pick the right cup. That's why at the lovers, you do it with compassion. If you turn that cup down, do it with compassion, do it with kindness, because that's the only way to do it, right? Now... I did tell you I had something from Mars for you guys. Mars has a message. Mars goes into retrograde on the 26th. Please watch your attitudes because when Mars goes retrograde, people be trying to fight all the time, okay? Now you are fighting for inclusion. This is Denali. This is, all, this is located in Alaska, USA. And I'm going to read to you from the past because <clears throat> I feel like since it's going retrograde, it's kind of bringing in these emotions, okay? And this is such a beautiful card. So, have you ever been left out in the cold to fend for yourself? Some of y'all going to be packing it up. So, it's time to call on Sedna, the Inuit goddess of the sea, to heal the scars these experiences have left. Sedna's power animal is the walrus. And the walrus always tells you to kind of sit back and let things happen, okay? Now, just as the creatures depend on large herds for survival, which will unite to protect an individual when they're being attacked, you need to find a new family. Pack up your shit and go, Saggy, okay? You need to have spiritual support. And that's what Meerkat is telling you also. Do not give any power to those who hurt you. Walrus teaches, I can't even say the word walrus, okay? Become aware of our surroundings to avoid being gullible, yet also not to be so cautious that you push even the good people away. That's why we're going to the Seven of Cups, remember? Okay, so... Change the direction in your approach to relationships. If you see this symbol, which is that little man thing, in a dream, in a vision, or in the natural world, then you know that you're on the right path. The thing is, Sedna's father killed her. And because he killed her, he cut her fingers off and she fell into like the freezing cold waters of Alaska, right? This is also one of the constellations that I forgot Pluto retrograded through or something like that. Anyways, they cut off her fingers. And out of her fingers, out of this betrayal, out of being betrayed by the one person she loved the most, wanting to be accepted, right? 
the animals were created. That's their, that's their story. However, it goes on to tell you that even out of your worst trauma, out of your worst situations, because that trauma happened, because those animals were created out of her, her people ate. So the thing is, out of your trauma, you are just like Kuan Yin sitting on that lotus flower. You too can blossom and out of your trauma, other people can be healed. Saji, you got this. There's no need to worry. All right. You will be included. You will find the right person to be by your side. And you will find the right family where you don't feel like you have to pack up and leave all the damn time. Now, I've been a little bit long-winded. I told you it was going to be a long one. Now, your Sacred Sites card. Oh, that was it. Where did I put your... I lost your um, crystal. Let me get you a new one. Uh, let's. We got muscovite. Okay, so this is about flexibility and insight. It's a highly angelic stone. It has strong connections to reveal what's necessary for spiritual growth. It reveals the problematic, um, reveals what's problematic with humanity, and it also promotes us to have a flexible, clear perspective. Um, it also helps us to have a brighter view and not so apathetic. It's great to work with um, promoting healing and restful sleep. It also helps with detoxing and fasting. It helps with your kidneys and pancreas. So now it's time to step outside yourself and see yourself and your situation. Clearly, I told you those eyes and this thing just fell out. Do you live your life with conscious reflection of your actions and motivations? If not, it's time to listen, absorb, and reflect. Now, your guidance from Don Miguel for your conversation or how you should be using your words is don't make assumptions. Learn to ask questions, Saggy. <laughs> it's always better to ask questions than to make assumptions. Have the courage to ask questions until you're clear as you can be. And once you hear the answer to your question, you won't have to make assumptions because now you will know the truth. And that seven of arrows will disappear. All right, Saggy, so that is your read for June. I can't wait to see you in July. Stay tuned. We have the full moon in Gemini. And if you're interested in a B-Day read, hit me up at arianaluciano at gmail.com or on the gram at arianaluciano. Be blessed, family.